So if you're afraid of changing your relationship with food and because it's you think it's going to be way too hard, then tune into this conversation I had with Sheila about her journey of escaping from diet culture once and for all and becoming a naturally healthy person. Okay, well, welcome, Sheila. Good to talk to you about your experience with the Naturally Healthy Club. So first off, like, why did you want to work with me in the Naturally Healthy Club? Like, what drew you to work with me? Well, my sister was in the group that started last July, July 2021, and her experience, Jules, was so positive, and she had really, really good results from working with you. And we've been struggling with weight loss. We've supported each other all of our adult life around weight loss. And so it was her positive experience that got me intrigued about working with you, Jules. And I felt ready to change my relationship with food. And I I felt ready to leave diet culture. So kind of those three things. And it sounded like you would be a good fit for that just based on what my sister's experience and what she relayed to me. Awesome. And so what was like, what were the biggest concerns or worries that you had like before we started? Well, I, I was worried that it would be too hard. You know, I was ready to do the work. I put that on my intake application that I was ready to do the work, but then I was afraid it would be way too hard. Right. The other thing is when I, at the very beginning, when I was accepted, I'm such an introvert that participating in a random group, <laughs> like the whole idea of circle and, and the zoo and, you know, the zoom calls and all that for me, that's very anxiety provoking, but you know, Jules, I got to a point where I wanted to participate. Right. I was kind of, I got keen. All my anxiety went away. It was a safe space. So yeah, at, at the beginning, that's what I was worried about. Yeah, of course. So like being being part of a group was a bit of like, oh, what's I don't know how that's going to go. And like, tell especially us a, a random group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you do people you don't know. Yeah, exactly. Very positive experience because you were actually quite active in the in the group. So. Well, I decided that I had committed to the program, committed to the Naturally Healthy Club. So I wanted to invest myself and do the work. Yeah. Like I really, I really wanted to, I was really invested in that. Yeah. Because I'd committed to it. So, so when my, I wanted to be active, I decided I was going to be active. That was part of the commitment for me. Yeah. Like, and you stepped up to that. And like, yeah. so when you like were worried that it was going to be too hard, like what, like what exactly did that look like? You worried I was going to make you stop having your favorite treats? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I thought it would be too hard because I, I've been in diet culture for so long and it's always been hard. It's always been hard chasing the last 10 pounds. It's always been hard. So I knew, I, I, I knew the process was going to require work that it was going to be a lot of effort. Do you think like that? It the like, effort. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did, you, did you feel like there was going to be like, you're going to have to deny yourself and there was going to be deprivation or? or was this just- I wasn't sure what that looked like, but I just remember after the first live call and um, you said, you know, change is possible. Like that was our takeaway from that first live call. And that was so powerful. Like, it seems like just a small little thing, but even just thinking about that right out of the gate that was so, that was so powerful. It seemed, even though uh, the weight loss didn't happen for several months, it somehow seemed easy. Like I, I was reassuring, no, I don't want to say easy because it's not easy, but it seemed, to, it seemed like the effort uh, would be worth it or, you know, it seemed that I could do it. it seemed okay. that I could do it. Yeah. Okay. So it was, yeah, there was work required, but it was, was manageable. It wasn't going to be yeah. like as big as you had initially thought perhaps yeah and with with your guidance and your support it it seemed like it was it was possible and doable yeah like right right from the start once once we got started yeah I think it was more the anxiety of of um before starting when you didn't know what it was gonna what what it was gonna involve that's right I signed up in November and then we didn't start until January so I had a long time to think about I didn't regret it I'm not saying that Jules I have a long time to think of, and you know, your inner, you know, your self-talk goes crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. then, no, it, then it just seemed that one simple phrase, uh, change is possible. And just focusing on that immediately was reassuring. And so 
You mentioned about like wanting to get out of diet culture, Sheila. So like just take to take a step back before you joined. What did like being part of diet culture look like? Like what was your experience of that? Well, it's always, you know, chasing the last 10 pounds, starting over on Monday. Okay, like I've blown it for the week. So, well, okay, I'm going to start over again on Monday. Monday Monday's going to be the day. And that, um, you know, that business of things being off limits, treats are off limits. If you, you know, if you, if you have a treat, then you've just blown the whole thing. So, you know, you may as well just eat all the pie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you've eaten, a, you've eaten a, sli- you know, a slice of pie, so you may as well just throw the towel in and eat the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. Or, or any kind of a treat like that, you know, and, and also uh, not, you know, beating myself up about it too, like not being nice to myself about it. Just kind of being mean to myself when I continually would blow it and make poor choices and, you know, not be able to stick with what I thought was the right way to eat. Yeah, right. Creating that um, scarcity by, by limiting things creating that that feeling of scarcity so okay yeah i've had a piece of pie so i may as well eat the whole thing because it's really it's all gonna, limits. and i'm never gonna have pie again that's it that's it yeah so i'm 59 so i'm at that age where all of my circle of friends every woman i know is trying to lose weight or thinking about their weight or dieting or i was sick of it jules i just wanted to change that whole mindset and change that like, just get away from that. I was so sick of it. So sick yeah. of it. Oh, Sheila, yeah. And so tell us now about like like where you've got to over like the time that we've worked together. Wow. Well, I, nothing is off limits. And that's what I love more than anything because somehow it, it makes treats less desirable. I know it sounds crazy, but I know. You know my husband just walked in the door and he brought, he's got potato chips with him, which is a nice treat, but it's not part of my plan today. So, um, you know, I had another plan for treats. My, my treat plan for today was, was a glass, a couple of glasses of wine. So I, I, I know what the chips taste like. I can, you know, I can wait for them and I can have, put them into my plan maybe tomorrow or maybe Sunday. So I don't know. I feel really liberated and empowered. I feel like I have control. So you feel empowered. You feel like you've got control. You're able to have chips when you want to have chips, but you're not. Oh my God, there's chips in the house. What am I going to do? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I've had ice cream in my freezer, which is, it's called loaded butter tart ice cream. Ooh. It's unreal. <laughs> that sounds like a good ice cream. Oh my, Jules, it's unbelievable. I've had it in my, ice, in my freezer. It's been at least a month. I've, I've had one serving. Absolutely delicious. But that was my treat plan for the day. So I had no regrets. You know, just making intentional, uh, having a more intentional approach with food. And I would say I've created more of a balance with food. And also try and focus on the quality of the eating experience and the quality of the food, not the quantity. That's another big, big shift. Like I don't need a big volume of food, but I certainly enjoy every bite that I eat. I love food. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and I don't feel deprived at all. Uh, the other thing is, Jules, the permission, you, you know, part of the process, the permission around failing. Right. Which is, again, that's that's so, uh, that's powerful. It's okay to fail. It's okay, it's okay to overindulge and have a bad, bad choices, but then you can choose again in the next hour and just decide that, you know, I've had my treats for today and it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. And to be self-compassionate and yeah, I've had enough. Yeah. And so do you feel like your relationship with yourself has changed as a part of doing this work, Sheila? For sure. For sure. Yeah. I I feel much more self-compassionate. You know, I would say, (laughs) this is going to sound crazy. I feel like I'm in a better mood. Like overall, I feel like everything's (laughs) awesome. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I so see. You know what? You're not the first person to experience that. Like, they actually feel like they're a happy, happier person. Like, the, their mood's improved. Yeah. yeah. And, and I have a good life. I mean, I have a good life anyway. I'm very fortunate. But, you know, I just, I just, uh, I'm more aware of my feelings. I'm more aware of my, my actions. And I feel more positive overall. You know, the other thing is that if, if I'm having an interaction with a family friend and they say something that 
in the past might have really set me off. I can accept what they're saying, acknowledge it, and then uh, and then move on. You know, and and, it, and also accept and acknowledge how I'm feeling about what was said, but not make it into a big deal. Right. So it's changing your your relationships as well, and how you're showing up for them, Sheila. Like doing this. Work. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I feel like it is, and even setting boundaries at work. Right. Um, okay. You know, with coworkers, because I have I I have a very um, it's, it's not an easy environment that I work in, and um, it's really helped to create boundaries at work. Like I can, some of the tools that I've learned through the Naturally Healthy Club, I can apply to work as well. So yeah, it's, Jules, it's life-changing. Yeah. I'm, I'm picking that up. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to like go of that. that. That's the yeah. thing. I don't, I don't want to let go of that because it's so good. You know, it's so good. So what do you think was the biggest transformation, Sheila? Like you mentioned a lot of things there. Wow. The biggest transformation. I don't know, Jules. Well, I, I would have to say the biggest transformation really overall is my relationship with food. A hundred percent. Okay. A hundred percent. And that's, that was my goal. A hundred percent. That is like number one. I, my, my relationship with food has changed so much in such a good way. Oh, yeah. That's the biggest transformation. Yeah. So it's amazing. But it's still evolving. I mean, as I said, there are still fails. I, you know, I get derailed. Things happen, life, but it's okay. Like, I don't feel like I'm starting back at that where I was before in January, before I started the Naturally Healthy Club. Like, I'm not that person anymore. It's incredible, really. It's, it's really life-changing, Jules, honestly. And so, like, what's your, been your favorite part about doing this work, Sheila? My favorite part, the support from the group. Through Circle has been very, very important. And um, even though it's a random group of people, um, it's really helpful to be going through the process with people who want to do the work, who are having similar struggles and um, really supporting each other. But you know what was also really good, um, Jules, was hearing your story. And that was really, really helpful. Just um, just that you were so forth, you know, you were honest and forthcoming with your own experience. And that was really helpful just to, just to, uh, you know, to validate your lived experience. And was there anything that surprised you about doing this work? A few things surprised me. As I said, I, I enjoyed working in the group and participating. Because I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you were, you were even like, that was something you were hesitant about at the beginning. So that's huge. Very. Yeah. So that was great. The simple takeaways that were so powerful, Jules, that you, the simple tools that, that were so powerful, like pausing, like I've already talked about, just the self-coaching, I can do this, change is possible, nothing has gone wrong. Just that changing the self-talk and, and what a difference that makes and putting a, a positive spin on things, that was quite surprising. And it's okay to fail. That was another thing. It's yeah. okay to fail as many times as it takes. That was surprising. At the beginning, that I, I was surprised by that, but it makes perfect sense. So many takeaways, so much. Um, I think it was the group environment that surprised me more than anything, to be honest with you. Yeah, like how much you got out of that. Yeah. Yes, the circle, the calls. It, yeah, that was great. Okay, and then who would you recommend the Naturally Healthy Club to, Sheila? Well, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world, yay. <laughs> the whole world needs to talk to Jules. No, no but particularly my demographic, you know, women who are in menopause. And like I said, so many of my women friends are struggling at my age, are struggling with similar issues that I was. Uh, but, you know, I would even recommend it to my daughters. My daughters are in their 30s. And I can see, you know, they're they're in that culture too. And it's probably partly my fault, that diet culture. It's probably my partly my fault, of course. And I do talk to them, Jules, about the Naturally Healthy Club. And I try and by osmosis and by example, let them know what I've learned. But I, I just think it's so useful for all ages, really. I mean, I'm not not teenagers so much because that's so tricky, but yeah. I would say all all young adults, all all adults, and even men. I mean, I'm talking from the, my lens of a woman, but um, yeah. but you know, by osmosis, I've um, given my husband <laughs> some uh, some naturally healthy club 
habits and tips. So. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody can benefit from it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking your time to have a chat, Sheila. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your, for asking me. This has been great. So if you'd like to be like Sheila and go from being trapped in diet culture, thinking it's all going to be too hard and always chasing that last 10 pounds and starting over on Monday to believing that change is possible for you and feeling like you're in control and finding that balance with food um, and even feeling like you're in a better mood overall, amazing, then I'd love you to join the Naturally Healthy Club. It's my six-month group coaching program where I give you a personalized, your personalized simple, doable process to change your relationship with food and your body. So you enjoy eating well automatically and you feel good in in your clothes. So after six months in the Naturally Healthy Club, you'll develop a sustainable and healthy relationship with food and eating once and for all. You'll escape the diet culture mindset. You'll learn to trust yourself with food and to break the overeating guilt cycle Uh, You'll feel control in control of what you eat and feel empowered. Uh, You'll feel better about your, in your body and better in your clothes. And you'll also have that confidence that you know how to lose weight naturally. So if any of that's sounding good, then I invite you to apply for the Naturally Healthy Club. So just go to thestonesoup.com forward slash group or check out the link in the show notes and get your application in. So the last group sold out, so don't mess around. Uh, and if you're thinking like, this sounds amazing, Jules, I'm sure it worked for Sheila, but I don't, don't know if it could work for me. And you have like doubts that you would will be able to, that it's possible for you to change, then I'd love to hear from you as well. So uh, what, what I really encourage you to do is just reach out and let me know, because we can set up some time to have a quick chat and just see whether we would be a good fit to work together. It'd be totally no pressure. And uh, yeah, just, I think that's the best way to know whether something's going to work for you or not. So if that sounds good, then email me jules at the stonesoup.com or I'll check out the, uh, I'll put my email address in the show notes as well. So you can, you can reach out to me there. Okay. Look forward to hearing from you.